Hola amigos! So I am here with another video. I did not find out about this shopping deal thing until my cousin brought it up to me and it's actually called the Makeup Blowout Sale Group. What they do is they travel across the country to different states, different cities, and they sell makeup at a discount. So I decided to go with my cousin and this was my haul. So I just wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys. Also just came from a high tea party. That's why I'm looking like this. I love this dress. I got it from Amazon. I think it was like 60 bucks. It's really hard to find some really nice white dresses. And then also another thing is I'm actually on Michael's floor right now because this is where the lighting is good. And my last video, you can hear the aquarium. So I wanted to test this room out to see how it is on the background noise. All right, let's get to it. I have all my notes too. I know, right? I came prepared, guys. All right, the first thing is this Viva La Vita Eau de Perfume. This is what it looks like, and it smells amazing. <sighs> it smells so good. So this was originally $15, but I got it on sale for $10. So I have a ton of makeup that I still have yet to use, and my makeup routine is very, very basic. So I don't wear eyeshadows. I don't contour to the gods. I don't wear highlight. I'm just very basic, very natural. If anything, eyebrow, mascara. I don't even do eyeliner, guys. I don't even do lipstick. I do my Burt's Bees. So there's not too much makeup here, but there is a bunch of skincare stuff. So just FYI. The next thing I have is the Cosmosun by Cos Cosmopolitan, and this is a sunscreen pina colada. So this this was originally going for $18, but I got it for $7.31 and it smells so good. Oh, FYI, they do have testers on everything. So if you want to know the smell of something or see the shade, do some swatching, you for sure can do that because honestly, I would have bought more if those testers weren't there because I was like, oh, that doesn't smell as good as I thought or that doesn't look as good as I thought on me. So yeah. This is a Perlise Watermelon Lemon Hand Sanitizer. So this was going for $3.20. I got it for $1.83. So the next thing that I have is Lice or LYS Beauty Lip Treatment Oil and this point for fluid ounces. So this was originally $12, but I got it for $5.48. I can finally open things because I'm doing this video. Oh my gosh. So it looks like this. And actually I don't have any lip stuff on right now. So maybe I can, it is very secure. Oh, there we go. Let's see, I can put it on. Oh, it smells so good. I've been really into the lip gloss, lip oil, just cause matte never really drive with me. But now my lips look moisturized for the rest of the video. We got the BB&W Cosmetics Makeup Fix Spray. And so this is with rose water. This usually is $11, but I got it for $3.66. And it smells really good. I remember testing it out and it smells good. The next thing that I have is Well People Revitalizing Do Snow Mushroom Eye Gel Cream. So again, I'm really into skincare at my age. So I was like, oh, I need to try this out. And I was running out of eye cream anyway. The packaging looks like, and this was originally $18, what that looks like, but I got it on sale for seven, is that right? Yeah. 731 so not bad so i'm excited to give that a try honestly like when it comes to like eye gel cream or eye cream like how do you really know that it really works because i mean ultimately you're being proactive and you're doing preventative measures so that you don't have those dark circles dark circles under your eyes like how do you really know it works you know anyways i digress i've never heard of a lot of these brands besides for elise so this is rude and this is a double trouble foundation and concealer so this was originally 825 and i got it for 731 so not too much of a discount but i wanted to give it a try since i'm already running out of my concealer like so as you guys know i usually do my concealer just like under here and then it goes down here and then i've been getting really bad acne here as you can see this mountain vesuvius of a pimple i have here the next thing that i have is another bb and w cosmetic swish this is Kiss Proof Matte Lip Crayon in Nova. Like, so this was originally $8, but I got it on sale for $4.57. So let me take it out of the package. However many lipsticks and lip liners that I wanted to buy, I was like, am I actually going to use it? Like I'm at that point in my life where I'm like, I just don't want it to have it and be in storage or be in my closet. Like I want it to actually be something I use. Swish lip crayon, there you go. That is a nice color on my skin tone. Okay, the next thing that I have is Zyme Skin Vitamin C Serum Brightening and Moisturizing. So this was 
originally going for $8.99 to $9.99, but I got it for $7.31. So this is just another serum. I'm not going to open it just yet, just because I have serums still that I'm using. So I'm going to wait till I finish that and I at least have this on hand. So this is one of the first things I put into my bag. This is Play Cobra Kai Energizing Facial Mist. And this is actually 4.4 fluid ounces. So it's actually a good amount of product. This is usually going for $24, but I got it for $6.40. I'm almost running out of my fix spray. Oh, that's huge. Look at that. That's what she said. <laughs> that is a huge amount of facial spray. What's funny is that about this is that May sprayed it. She said it smells like band-aids. Not used, which I was thinking. I was like, ew. No, she said it smelled like a new band-aid, but it actually smells really good now that I'm smelling it from here. But maybe when you spray it, it smells different. But I'm excited to give that a try because May said that she's heard good things about it. So we'll see. We'll give it a try. Next thing is Perlis Matcha and Green tea lemon detoxifying charcoal mask again this is like one of the few brands that i do know about or that i've heard of you know i love me a good mask there it is so this is originally 20 dollars, and i got it for four dollars and 57 cents so that is a steal again this is one of the i think one of the only brands that i know of when i was there so maybe i need to explore more another rude product so this is the lip gloss berry and juicy in code red the packaging is super cute look at that <laughs> so this is originally nine dollars but i got it for three dollars and 65 cents again i have been on the hunt for lip glosses or something to moisturize my lips and not necessarily coat it like a lipstick or anything i know i did get some lip, um, a lip crayon here but yeah, there it is i'm excited because this gives you a little bit of tint as well i'm excited to give that a try all right so this is romantic beauty so this is a dip liner mascara casting so it's a two-in-one dip liner mascara I'm not going to open it up just because I'm not going to use it because I still have mascaras that I have to go through and it's not focusing. Why? Why? There it is. The only way I was able to find pricing on this was if you buy it like wholesale. So if you buy three for $18, so I would equate that to like about $6 each if you were to buy it wholesale. I got it for $3.65. Next is Beauty Creations Matte Lipstick and I got it in the color Obsessed. So this is like going back on what I just said that I wasn't trying to do anything that coat my lips like a matte lipstick. But when I was swatching the, the tester on this, it literally didn't even feel like it was matte. Like it felt almost like a glossy lipstick. Look at the packaging is so cute. So this was originally $5 but I got it for $3.66. Oh, that doesn't smell very good. Ugh. It smells almost toxic. Or it smells like a crayon. Yeah, it smells like a crayon. Interesting. We will see how that works. Okay, the only like blush or any sort of powder that I bought was this RMT Beauty Blush Powder. So it is this and it looks like a pizza. Isn't that cute? I got one that complemented my skin and was similar to the blush that I currently wear. So this is originally going from anywhere from $10 to $15 and I got it for $4.57. I'm not going to open it up because I'm not yet done with my blush that I'm currently using. So next thing is Well People Lip Nurture Hydrating Balm and again going with my non lipstick lip products so this was originally going for $15 but I got it for $4.57 and I got it in delicate pink I'm excited to give this a try and while people have never heard of them focus there it is so not that I'm excited to give that a try I think if I didn't have something on my lips I would totally all right if I'm ever going to post my Timu haul which oh my god the audio on that you guys absolutely horrible like ugh. anyways this is she makeup brow styling soap looks like this i bought a brow styling soap by a timu I haven't given it a try yet literally like you just bought nothing but this is originally 272 saw it online and i bought it for 274 so i think i might have paid retail on that but this is what you put on your brows prior to putting any product on it it's literally a styling tool so almost like gel for your hair alrighty and the last thing that I got actually I got for free because if you go to this makeup blowout sale you scan the QR code when you get in and you sign up for their 
think it's text messages or email add your name to the email list you get a free gift and the free gift was this mica beauty the drop velvet beauty sponge aka a beauty blender this retails for six dollars and i got it completely free just by scanning that qr code i know that if you scan the qr code and you also post to your story you get a free like brush set which i think came with two like eyeshadow brushes and then if you spend over 150 dollars you get another um gift but i didn't spend 150 dollars anyways how many items did i have all right so i got a total of 18 items for 115 dollars and 28 cents i'm excited to go to other makeup blowout sales uh, with my cousin i was really good as far as like not going too crazy and just buying the things that i needed this is a whole new camille this is 35 year old Camille worried about your skincare just not just buying things just because they're cheap because then it just goes to waste and it's a whole thing but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm doing a bunch of haul videos I have a thrift video coming up if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos go ahead and click that subscribe button it would totally make my day and I will see you guys later bye mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.